Hey guys, today is a simple and fresh back to school makeup tutorial using products you can find at your local drugstore. Yay! So let's get started. I'm starting off with the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. I'm taking the taupe color slightly above the crease as a transition. This will provide a fade from the crease to the brow bone. You can find this palette on eBay and select Walgreens. Using the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Waikiki Strip, I'm applying the bottom three shades blended together as my lid color. This is one of my favorite products from the drugstore because it's creamy, pigmented, and you can use it all over the face. I mean, how gorgeous are these colors? Now I'm taking the Medium Brown from the Vanity Palette and applying it in the crease. This shade has slight gold shimmer, so it's going to make your eyes pop. For a little more dimension, I'm taking the matte chocolate shade in the crease with a pencil brush and then I'm going to blend it out with the same crease brush we used earlier. Following the hollow of your eye will help you find exactly where you should be applying this crease color. Then go back and blend out any harsh edges with a blending brush. For the brow bone, I'm using this matte cream shade. To add definition, I'm taking Rimmel's Waterproof Liner in brown to the lash line. I'm not applying it very neat because I'm going to smudge it out with a pencil brush. Then I'm taking the pencil to the upper waterline and this trick will make your lashes look fuller. Now I'm just touching up the lid color. For mascara I'm using my favorite, the Maybelline Rocket. I love this stuff. Let's work on the face a little. I'm using the Garnier BB Cream in Medium Deep and I'm mixing a little bit of this darker Maybelline foundation to make my perfect shade. I use this darker Maybelline foundation to contour sometimes, so I will link my video of how I do it down below. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Lumi in the color Nude to make me look more awake because waking up early for school can leave you sleepy. I know when I was in school, I was ready for a nap by the time lunch rolled around. Going back to the medium brown, I'm applying it on the lower lash line to pull the eye look together. And don't forget to add mascara on the lower lashes. And finally, highlight the inner tear duct with the top two shades of the Waikiki strip. If you get oily at all, you want to set your foundation with a powder. I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent. For bronzer, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready in Bronzed and Chic. I'm mixing in the bottom two shades and bronzing the cheekbones, jaw, and hairline. For color on the cheeks, I'm using Milani's Luminoso Baked Blush. It's a coral dream. To highlight, I'm taking the top two shades of Waikiki Strip so my face has a little bit of glow. You guys know I love to highlight. For lipstick, I'm using L'Oreal's Ferris Nude, one of my all-time favorites. I applied some foundation on my lips first so that it comes out a little bit more pink. 
Then I'm adding a little bit of NYX's Butter Gloss and Eclair to the center and we're done. And don't forget to take your powder, blush, and lip gloss with you for touch-ups. As for hair, I love it pinned to one side with this makeup. I think it makes it look girly and playful. Don't forget to thumbs up this video for more makeup tutorials and subscribe to my channel for updates. Are you excited for school? I hope so. Let me know down below when you start school so I can do some more back to school videos. Thank you guys for watching and good luck.